Today, we will be talking about electric screwdrivers. How's it going, guys? Josh here at Tracks RC, and today we are bringing you episode three in Tool Tuesday. In this episode, we will be talking about electric screwdrivers. As you can see, we have four very different screwdrivers. So let's go ahead and talk about all four of them individually. So first, we are going to be talking about the Performax electric screwdriver. This screwdriver does have the trigger, the forward and reverse switch, and then on the bottom, there is actually a flashlight right there. And there is the battery life indicator. And right here, you can press it and turn the handle. So if you like using them like this, you can. I prefer to have it like a pistol grip. And then up here, you have the collet, and there is also a little light right there. And then the chuck size is a quarter inch collet. This screwdriver is four volts, and it does feature a lithium ion battery that is rechargeable. However, the battery cannot be removed from the driver itself so you'll have to charge it through this port right here. And then the normal charging time is around three to five hours. Um, and the speed of this driver with no load on it is 220 RPMs. One downside of the Performax electric driver is that it is not proportional. And that means that when you go to pull the trigger, if you pull it a little bit, it goes all the way. If you push it all the way, it still goes all the way. So you really can't go slow with this driver. That is unless you just tap the trigger like this. But we have found that this driver is perfect for just throwing in your backpack so that when you're outside driving your RC cars and if one of them breaks, you can easily repair it. So being that this driver is only four volts, it doesn't have a ton of power. And because this electric screwdriver is so compact, you could really put it anywhere. So now let's move this one off to the side and start talking about the Black & Decker 12 volt electric driver. So this driver does have a removable battery or you can charge it through this port. It does come with a bit that has a flathead on one side and a Phillips on the other. It does have the forward and reverse switch right there and then the trigger and it does have an adjustable clutch right there and there is the adjustable collet. And the collet can hold anywhere from 1 seconds to 3 eighths. So this is actually the electric driver that we would prefer to use. Being that it is 12 volts, it has just enough power, but not too much. Because if your driver has too much power, you will strip out plastic threads super easily. The only thing that I really do not like about this driver is that it does not balance well at all. As you can see, just the littlest tap makes it want to fall over. So whenever I'm using this driver, I never set it up like this. I always lay it down because if you have a very skinny drill bit in the collet and you knock it over, you will break your drill bit and I've done that before. So now let's set this one off to the side and start talking about the Bosch 18 volt driver. Now this one is pretty much the same as the Black & Decker driver that we just looked at, but it does have a couple of things that are different. Obviously this one is 18 volts. It does have this little clamp on the side of it, and then it does have this little thing right here where you could hook up a tether. It does have a light right here, so when you pull the trigger you could actually see what you're doing. And then there is the trigger right there, the forward and reverse switch. And then it does have the adjustable clutch and then the adjustable collet. And if you press the button on the back of the driver that says on, you can see how much battery life it has. And this driver does have the slow and the fast speed. Surprisingly, we wouldn't recommend this electric screwdriver for anyone with little to no experience in the hobby. However, if you have been in the hobby for a few years and you have a ton of experience with everything, then we would recommend this driver. So this driver is really nice and all, but you have to be careful that you don't strip out any threads. Even with the Black & Decker 12 volt driver that we just showed you guys, you have to be careful with that one too. So that's all that we have to say about this driver. So let's go ahead and set this one off to the side 
and talk about the Bosch 18 volt impact driver. This driver is the exact same thing as the other one that we just looked at, but this one is an impact. And if you don't know what an impact driver is, it basically has a lot more speed. And they do not have an adjustable clutch like regular screwdrivers, and they do not have an adjustable collet. And the collet size on this one is quarter inch. Just like the other Bosch driver, we would not recommend this one unless you have a lot of experience in the hobby. If you're not careful, this one will destroy your threads. So why would we even show this driver on Tool Tuesday if we wouldn't recommend it to everyone? Well, if you're in a time crunch and you need to get work done on your RCs fast, this is the driver that you want. And that's just because it is so fast. With all that being said, we would recommend the Black & Decker 12 volt electric screwdriver over any of these. This one is just perfect for all around use and we love it. Before we close out this video, we just want to invite you guys over to check out our website. If you click the link down below in the description, it will take you there and there we have reviews on all of our RC cars and other ones that we have featured on our channel. There you can also buy Trax RC merchandise and you can also look at RC news topics that we have for you guys this week. You can also learn general information about us and our YouTube channel. We also have a full list of the best RC cars in our opinion. And we are adding a ton more to our website. And with that, if you guys enjoyed this video, like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time on Tracks RC.